Hey everybody, I'm Shane from Ammon Arsenal. Uh, welcome to video two for the IEAK 11. This is the Internet Explorer Administration Kit. Our first video, we showed you how to actually build the uh, IE 11 install files. Now we're gonna deploy those install files using PDQ Deploy. You can use the free version for this, but um, if you have multiple, uh, the free version to deploy, but if you have multiple um, uh, targets that you need to, or, I'm sorry, multiple uh, architectures, like you have Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 that you need to deploy to, you'll need to create separate packages for each. Uh, here we'll just do, we're using the enterprise level, but this can be done in pro as well of deploy. So I've just created a new package, we'll call this one IE11, how's that sound? And then the step, our first install step. If you recall, the uh, files were on builds, it was in the builds directory that we had built from the previous uh, video. Go to flat, let's do this one is the 64-bit uh, uh, Windows 7. We use the MSI, perfect, there's the MSI right there. It's already set to silent. We'll call this Win7 64-bit or X64. We're going to change the conditions here. OS, no servers, only Windows 7, and the architecture only 64-bit. There we go. Now we're going to create a new one. Create a new install step. This one will do uh, Windows. Uh, pardon me, Win81. How's that sound? 8.164. And we'll change the install file up to Windows 8. There we go. Change our conditions to Windows 8.1 for the OS and 64-bit for the architecture. You get the idea. Create a set, we could create a separate step for Windows 7 32-bit following the same logic. But just for sake of time, we'll hit save. Perfect. Now we have our package. Let's go ahead and deploy this IE package. We've got choosing our targets. I'm going to go to PDQ inventory. I'm going to go to have a collection here called Internet Explorer. Let's go to IE. Let's look at IE 10. We will do none of those are eight. Let's go to IE 8. Ah, perfect. Let's get Carla. We'll get Carla in there just for an example. That's a Windows 7 64-bit. And uh, now, because Windows 8.1 comes with IE 11, we, we want to push out the changes that we just made uh, to, I, to uh, Windows 8. We could still choose those that have IE 11, and it will just update them to the latest version and then make any of the configuration changes uh, that you wanted. So we've got, we'll do Dunmire, perfect and then hit deploy. It's that simple. And you're deploying this out to your target computers. We, if you recall, we built the package to not do a reboot. You could add a reboot step in here if you wanted. Um, otherwise, this will install uh, 8.1, and if a reboot is needed, it won't take place, but the, uh, the user will be able to use IE 11 after uh, they have rebooted their system. You can see Carla, which is Windows 7, is running the appropriate step versus Dunmire, which is 8.1. Dunmire is fast because just had to make some configuration changes. All right, and there you go. This should take a, for Windows 7, it'll probably take several minutes, but that's how you do it. Steps one, step two, rock on. I'm Shane.